I'm at the Comedy Store on Sunset every Saturday night. Saturday nights. Every That's when you want to come in and see me. I, I run a little talent showcase up in the belly room upstairs around the back. And downstairs, we have the original room and the main room. And this gentleman, Bobby Lee, works the main and the original. Hello, Bobby Lee. How are hey, you doing? Hey, Skippy. Hey, Bobby Lee. Funny guy. I saw you the other night. I love what you do on that stage. Thank you very much, Skippy. Tell Thank me you. about Bobby Lee. Grew up where? I grew up in San Diego, and uh, that's where I started comedy, and I just moved into town like three months ago. That's it? That's all you've only been in town? Three mm -hmm. months? Sammy Shore, or Miss, oh wait, uh, it's Pauly Shore. Yeah, Pauly. Pauly Shore discovered you? A year ago, and I went on the road with him. Uh, it was his opening act, and then, uh, then I went on the road with Carlos Mencia as his opening act, uh -huh. and now I'm in L.A. Now, tell me about uh, Bobby Lee. Your comedy is, <coughs> what, more like, uh, I'm looking at you. Right. Are you Japanese or Chinese? No, uh, keep guessing. Uh, <laughs> I'm Korean. Korean. Oh, Korean. Are you Kumbawa. Korean? <laughs> yeah. Are you really? Yes, I am. I'm so Korean-American. Korean-American. Do they get confused? I'm not, I'm like me. I just got confused, and I lived in the Orient. But well, you're a um, Japanese. Well, yeah, I think Japanese and Koreans get confused because they're both descendants from Mongolia. Mon yes, okay. Right. I see. I've never been to Mongolia. Yes, but or you're. Japan or but you are an American. I'm an American, born and raised. Growing up, born and funny born. always, Bobby. Yes, I've uh, always been funny. Um, I've, I, you know, I've been kicked out of high school a couple of times for being like, a, a wild person. Like and what? What? What did you do? So wild? I uh, never showed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. And um, that's uh, they'll kick you out for stuff like that. Uh huh. When you decided you want to be a comedian, at what age? Um, I think. At 23, really, because that's when I started, mm -hmm. three, over three years ago. That's it? T yeah. Three years ago? Yeah. And you've been working Vegas, you've been working everywhere. Yeah, I'm doing Vegas, and then um, a little TV here and there, and um, just, you know, just trying to be happy. What is Bobby Lee about on stage? Tell me, when you walk out, what is Bobby Lee about to say? Go ahead, tell me. Well, um, I don't know, I, I like to talk about um, things that I know about, like, um, you know, my parents, and... Um, Growing up as a Korean American uh -huh. individual, uh -huh. and um, and my stuff is kind of edgy. Is I mean, it? I don't swear, but yeah, it's like a little risque. Ris it's a little risque. Uh huh. Well, it has to be in, in nightclubs. Yeah, and I um, I showcased for the Tonight Show like a month ago. Right. And uh, they um, they felt that I was a little too edgy. Like, what did so. you audition for? Let's let's say you were going to audition for the Tonight Show. Like, yeah. what what did you do? Well, I'd say, you know, uh, my opening line was, um, "I'm really Mexican. I'm just really really stoned." Okay. Right, which, um, um, you know, <laughs> and then um, Asian people, we don't like smoking marijuana because, uh, you know, when other races get high, their eyes get squinty, uh -huh. and we go blind. You know? <laughs> like, I can't see. I can't freaking see. You know, uh -huh. your white friends freak out. Dude, maybe I should drive. 
Uh-huh. No. <laughs> Big laughs. <laughs> Big laughs in the clubs. But so. the comedy store, you're having a good time there. Uh, Mitzi has been treating me really well since I moved into uh -huh. town. How many comedians a night do they present? Uh, like there? 15. It's like 15 to 20. It's a cattle call of comedy. It is. Yeah. Comedy. But right now, comedy is not very popular like it used to be. I Bobby. can't find work, Skippy. What do you mean you can't find work? Well, it's like I'm going on the road in August. I'll be in, at, um, at the Riviera with um, Sammy Shore, a Paulie's dad. Yes, he's doing a play before. right now, too. Yes, he is. Yes. And right. um, it, we booked that a year ago. Really? Yeah. So um, it took me a year, another year, to get back to the Riviera. So there is a lot of work for comedy then, huh? Well, there's work out there, but, you know, um, my manager has to scrape and um, make thousands of phone calls a day uh -huh. to get me one. Uh -huh. so. You do acting, do you, Bob? Yeah, I do acting. You do? Yeah. And commercials and stuff yeah. like that? Because yes, you're, you're very funny on stage. Oh, thanks. Really, you're thanks. funny. You're thanks. funny. Your thanks, attitude is that. Comedy is all attitude. Is, is that you discovered? It's attitude, but I have low self-esteem, and I'm real sensitive and neurotic. Okay. You know? So I think I thrive on that also. On like that. When, I'm on you know, when I'm doing well on stage, I don't think to myself, well, the ladies love me. Or I don't, you know, I don't say, you know what I mean, I'm a star. I kind of say, Wow, they they like me, you know. <laughs> they like me, you know. And I get off stage, and um, I'm just really shy when it comes to audience members. Orientals are usually shy, though. Asian American, there, Asian Skippy. American, but that American, <laughs> there, yeah, yeah, it's a difference, total right. difference, right? Well, right. yeah, I don't really mind. You can call me Oriental, whatever uh -huh. you want to do, but um, you know, <laughs> yeah, Asian American. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Harvey Fisher, how are you? Oh, another hi. comedy store. I just you work to the comedy store, you the improv, you play all over. Matter of fact, you just got back from uh, San Francisco San working Francisco. the clubs. Yes, I. You, um, yes, I. You was sing, in, you do yep. comedy, you uh, actor, yep. model. Yep, yep. But I. Uh, basically, you were a model mm. at the beginning. Come on. Um, yes, I'm uh, one of LA's top 10,000 photographic models. Right, yeah. I like that. <laughs> I've uh, done. Uh, you want to see a couple of my poses? Yeah, go this ahead. This is my look into the sun, <laughs> and this is the other view. <laughs> Harvey, working in LA as as a model, difficult was it for you? Because you you know you wanted to be an actor, and you did you know you're doing some movies out here, television. Well, I've uh, my but acting career. You're always careers. winding up doing. Photographs. Yeah, always I do. winding up. I've done. Uh, I've been pretty lucky with it. Pays for the golf balls. But uh, my acting career, you know, has had its ups and downs. One day I'm on bread and water. Uh -huh. Next day nothing. Okay, let's get to golf. You're talking about golf. All the actors you play golf too. No. All the actors out here want to play I'm a caddy. golf. Oh, you're a caddy. Yes. Ah, that's right. How tall are you? Uh, five, five four. Five four, like me. Yeah. Same thing. I was a man in Japan. I was a five <laughs> five. <laughs> so you know the same thing. <laughs> are you kidding, caddies? Golfers, I mean, that's caddies make good money. You know, they do well. They do good if you were, you're on a, if you're, Harvey, if you're you carrying a bag for a, a, a Harvey, successful. you sing, you do. I'll tell you more about it later. At, tell me about the comedy store. You sing, do astrology songs. You write astrology songs about what signs? Yeah. I have a song for each sign of the zodiac. Like uh, what? Show me. Uh, right. I, you brought your guitar. Show me. Yeah. What's your, oh, what's your sign? Skip. I'm a Gemini. You don't know which one you're talking to. The wind will never know exactly which way it will blow. And so the same with twins, I never know which way I'll go. I'm always different people and I don't know who is who. I wish the real me would stand up and say, how do you do? One twin wants to plan the war and let the other march. One twin does the making love, the other likes to watch. There is nobody quite like me in any other sign. Cause being born a twins, it makes me two of a kind. That's the way of a Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. That's good, that's good, I like that. How about you, what's your sign? I'm a Virgo. Ah, Virgo. Go ahead, Virgo. Virgo. Virgo has to know the why, the who, what, when, and where. I work to reach perfection and then improve from there. I'll stretch a dollar till it squeaks. I'll go on saving sprees. I'll think so hard I will not see the forest for the trees. Virgo. Virgo. Oh, oh. Virgo. <laughs> You're from New York, Harvey Fisher. New York City. Growing five, up in New York. Yep, uh, Manhattan, 565 doing, West, 190th. Second door on the left as you Harvey, walk in there. Were you doing theater in New York? Or? Yes, I understudied The Homecoming on Broadway, Harold Pinter. Oh, really? Yeah, interesting. He took us all uh, the cast to uh, dinner one night, and he said, in France, the play runs two hours longer because the French have a 
less words in their language, so they have to talk longer. Somehow. Right, right, right. Now, they gave you a great article here in this magazine called uh, New Times. New Times. Yeah. Look to the Stars by Harvey Fisher, singer of Zodiacs. This is a great article of you in here. Yeah, it's a whole good page. Good review, of course. It's good ink. Good ink. Tell me about San Francisco. You just got back from San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco has got a, I have a very nice cult following there, or um, even non-cult. Right. Come to see me. And um, they fill the place. They, uh, I, uh, they, they dance to my songs. They sing along. They throw underwear at me. And that's just the guys. No, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just the comic too, you know. Go ahead. And uh, I played with. Um, I was up there with co-build with Elvez. Uh huh. The Mexican Elvis. Uh huh. And uh, packed the house. It was a lot of fun. But right now, you selling. Uh, videos, what is it, cassettes? Yeah, Tell I have me videos about cassettes. of the astrology songs. They play on The Daily Show. Uh, the Daily Show on Comedy Central plays a clip from once a month when the sign changes. The Comedy Central. They play uh, The Daily Show, they play a clip from my video, and uh -huh. uh, I get uh, people. You've who, uh, worked Comedy Central. You've done a lot of television. Tell me about the uh, the show that you've been doing, uh, well, Friday Night Videos. What's I that? did that on NBC a year ago. Uh -huh. um, How was it for you? It was, I mean, it was my first TV, so I was, that, I was, was frightened. That, were you nervous? How nervous were you? Like, what? I w well, they, they taped it on the Tonight Show set. Right. You know what I mean? So I actually got to see the Tonight Show being taped. Before Let me see. Here's an example. Bobby Leeds. Right. You're on the video. Let me see. Right. Bobby Leeds, opening night. How nervous this opening night is. Go ahead. I'm going to introduce you. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait, here, what do you want me to do? I <laughs> want you to do what you did there, just how nervous you were or whatever. You, you remember the moments you got the feeling of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's introduce you. Okay. Let's just see what you do, okay? Just for f two minutes, okay. whatever. Here he is, Bobby Leeds, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Hi, how's it going? Thank you very much for having me. Um, you know, stand-up's going really well for me, but you know who's not really into my, my stand-up is my father. You know, he's never really been supportive, you know what I mean? Because he came to this country so that I could be a doctor lawyer, not a stand-up comic. So every time <laughs> I see him, he teases me, hey, comedian boy, come here. <laughs> come here, comedian boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You tell your jokey joke on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you tell your jokey joke. You're not a funny, Bubby. <laughs> you're not. You're not a funny, Bubby. <laughs> I have a joke for you. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there, Dad? You're not funny, Bubby. <laughs> Do you know why the chicken crossed the road? Why, Dad? Because we're telling jokes on his side. <laughs> so that's how I opened with that's my dad. That's funny stuff. That's funny stuff. Doing my father. Talking, do, talking about your father. Yeah. Talking about I your do a lot story. of family stuff, and you know. That's great. That's really good stuff. Thank Tell me you, about Skip. the comedy store. A tough audience. Sometimes. Yes. You know, you got gang members in there, you know what I mean? Hey, make me laugh, you know what I mean? And um, You do get the ga Mexican oh, yes. gangs. Mexican gangs. Mexican gang members, and right. Uh, right. you're up there, you know what I mean? Um, uh -huh. Dancing. And, One uh, thing's wrong with your story, though, Bobby Lee. How was it you said you got kicked out of high school, but you never showed up? How do you get kicked out if you're not there? <laughs> well, they sent me a memo. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, just... and my mom wasn't very happy. How about working in Texas, Bobby Lee, going to Texas? Uh, I like Texas. And do you? They, yeah, I El mean, Paso? Yeah, they're, me. they're racist without even knowing being racist, and they don't mean to be racist, but uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like, you know, I had a guy walk up to me and go, man, you're the funniest Chinese guy I've ever seen in my life. Right? And I go, I'm not Chinese. Well, whatever. <laughs> you know? It's like, okay, bro. <laughs> nice cowboy hat. Does it, does it, for a comic, mm -hmm. Is it sometimes painful for you to hear some guy heckling you? Hey, come on, be you funny. You, you know? know what's more, most painful is other comics. Other yeah, comics they don't try laugh. to put you down. They don't they try laugh. They stab you in the back. They don't laugh. They don't laugh. They sit in the audience. They don't. Laugh. Bobby Fisher, I've seen you. I mean Harvey, I've seen you up at the comedy store sometimes. You sit in the audience. I don't see you laughing sometimes. I really don't. Difficult. I mean, I've, I've seen you upstairs at the belly room. You watch these comedians sometimes. You don't laugh, but you're ready to go on. You ex you go on and you do your heart. Well, there's a Why lot of lot of humor. I'm laughing on the inside. You know, there's a lot of me on the inside. Uh, uh, what is Harvey yeah. Fisher really like in the inside? Bring the song out and show uh, me How about that song you wrote for uh, yeah, yeah, a wonderful song. lady friend of yours. <laughs> uh, what is that song? The Working Girls or something? You know, she loves my like. tribute to the American Working Girl. Yeah, the one that like. works from uh, nine to five. Yes. No, the one that works from five to nine. Five to so. nine. Go ahead. Working girl, I buy her time, she takes off my shoes Jokes with me and strokes me and chases my blues We'll listen to some music, I'll reminisce and think I'll cry about the lives I've loved, she'll fix another drink 
She'll laugh and whisper, scratch and shout. She's a working girl. She's working out. Ooh, daddy, you're doing me right. Ooh, baby, you're out of sight. Ooh, honey, feels so good. Ooh, yeah, like a real man should. Ooh, sugar, love what you got. Ooh, love, I'm getting so hot. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, Harvey, huh. see, Harvey, he does astrology songs. See, that's a very clever idea you came up with. I have another album now I'm uh, working on. It's an album of duets. It's uh, couples fighting. Uh huh. Well, and uh, it's you know different subjects. But you had another song that I really liked. That wasn't quite the one I liked. That, but the other one was what? what that uh, this lady friend of yours loves so much. Okay. Night lady. Night lady. Just a lady friend. That's Shelley. No. Oh, well, why? Why just mention anything? No. Just a lady friend. That's a it. Lady friend. What was her song? She uh, liked. That was the working girl. Uh, was it? Uh, yeah. Oh, and, uh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, but then I've the, my most recent that uh, song is um, it's called Fun Fun Fun. Okay, let's hear it. I'm stuffing my pain. I'm faking my pride. I'm way out in the open, trying to hide. <laughs> afraid of this, afraid of that. One great big Freddy Freddy cat. I've given away my life for free. I could not save what there was of me. Maybe I got old and I sold myself out. Maybe you're too young to know what I'm talking about. I need some fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Stop this crying in my beer. Need some fun, fun, fun. I'm just dying for some cheer. Need some fun, 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 fun. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> tell me some stories about the funniest thing that's ever happened to you at the comedy store. Because I've had some great experiences there. Tell me some of them. Well, um, I have a horrible story I can tell. Okay. Okay, it was a That's nightmare. Good. I was, uh, when, I, when I played Vegas with uh, Pauly last year, um, right. these two girls walked up to me and they said, we really think you're funny and we want to party with you. So what ended up happening is I brought them to my room and they robbed me. They did. Yes. They why, would you bring two, why would you bring two girls to you? That's a fun. That's funny. But was Polly Shore with you? Well, because I want to get some, some, you know. Oh uh, yeah, mean? was Polly with you? What? Was Polly with no, you? No, he was uh, actually up. He, uh, he had a, his own party, and I was invited right. to the party, but I wanted right. to hang Polly out with these ladies. Stri Polly likes strippers, doesn't he? He likes. Yes, he does like the exotic women. Exotic women, doesn't mm -hmm. he? Tell me about Polly Shore. What kind of guy really is? I love. I personally, I personally think he's a great guy, right. and he's done wonders for my. Um, career. He's always helped me out and uh -huh. um, you know financially and uh, with advice and stuff. He's a good good guy. What kind of advice does he give you, Bobby? Well, just like, you know what I mean? He you know, he once said to me, "Dude, you have it, you know. Uh -huh. Um, you're going to make it and uh, just keep doing it." Keep you know, doing it. I just say to other thing. people. I you know if you could write something for Mitzi, you can do work with the whole family. Right. You know, go on a road with the whole family. When right. I saw Bob, uh, Bobby Lee at the comedy store a few weeks ago and I said, "God, this kid has got it." You walked in that stage. Look, look, give me this. One. Look at that. Hat. Give me that. Hat. Look at that. Hat. That's an old headshot, ladies and gentlemen. I know, but that hair. That, that was in the seventies. I uh, walked out I grew the out stage of that. with the head coming. <laughs> I said, "Put your head. Take that hat off, or something." Oh, oh man, you don't want to do it. Go well, straight. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look, look. See. Look. I'll tell you, uh, the behind, the, I don't do the hair anymore when I no, perform, I, but I'll tell I, you why I did I love it. I'll yeah. tell you why I, yeah. I started doing it. Yeah. When I started doing comedy, I wasn't very funny. You know, I was nervous and whatnot. You weren't funny. No, I was, you know, when you first start out, yeah, you're not that right. funny, you know. And What um, made you decide you thought you were funny, though? Well, my friends said, hey, dude, you're funny. Just try it. And I would go up there, and I wasn't funny. So one day, I, w I took a nap. I woke up. My hair was like this, and I went to the club with my hair like this. Yeah. And I got a minute laugh without even saying a word. And then, uh, and then when I started talking, right. they stopped laughing. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's funny. It's very funny. So now I don't do it anymore because you ever uh, have that experience uh, where you're out and you say something and they laugh and you don't know what you said, and they're laughing and you don't know why they're laughing. Yeah. You ever have that experience? Oh yeah. That tell me about. Tell me about. Uh, Funny thing, like a heckler would heckle you. You heckle him back at all? Do you say anything? Well, the, like the other night I'm performing, okay? Right. And um, this guy kept saying stuff to me. I didn't know what he was saying, right? Right. right. He said, you know, hey man, it's open. Man, it's open. I go, what, what's open? It's open. Throughout the set, it's open. So I eventually go, what's open? Uh -huh. He says, your zipper. Uh -huh. And I look down, and you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Da da! You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And uh, you know, that's uh, um, 
I'm glad that heckler was there. The comics that work the comedy store are breaking the material. You do the same thing, Bobby Lee. Every time you're on that stage, you try a new joke. I try about two or three new bits. A new bits every all the time, time I'm at the comedy store. Because there is no reason for you not going on that stage. You got to try it. Right. I mean, otherwise, that's the only thing to do. See, Keep I I don't really want right now. I mean, a lot of comics are like, you know, when am I going to be famous? And I don't really. I just want to get b good at what I do. You know what I mean? I want to work. That's and get why good you're at, at the comedy store. That's why I'm at the comedy store. So and there's good. people looking for sitcoms. That's what you're really. You're perfect for a sitcom. Oh, really? I'd love to do one. Because you're an actor too. I'm an actor, yeah, and I'd love to do one. And you know, yes, I've had meetings and stuff with you know network people and this and that. Right. But right now. Um, you know, they think I'm a little green, uh -huh. so I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm stepping back and going, all right, let's just work on the stand-up, right. be as funny as I can be, right. and I just, I just figure, you know, it'll you just, just happen. Well, you're young at it. You're young at I'm it. Young you're not young. Hey, you're not going to be a star overnight. Everyone expects. Everybody's that. expecting to be a star overnight. Everyone's success. Harvey, you've been in the business a long time too. You write your own songs. You do acting. You, uh, you do commercials. Yep. Uh, yep. Has it been tough for you, Harvey Fisher? Come on. Well, you gotta. You have to just keep remembering that you're doing what you want to do. Right. You know, and that you put yourself where you are. You where know, would you I'm like to go from here, Harvey? Now, now, just you. You're writing astrology. You're an actor. You do things. Where would you like to see yourself two years from now, Harvey Fisher? Well, you know, somewhere near the top. Uh, see, it's you know, why? you always, you always have a dream. Just work. Why? I love the top? to be working. Yeah. Yeah. Just to me, work. Working is the top, yeah. Most most yeah. important is working. Yeah, just that keep myself in golf balls and. Uh, you play golf you know, all the time. Yeah, I play a lot of golf. Uh, it's ruined my life. It's run my life, uh -huh. actually. It's, uh, do guys gamble when they play that golf? They do gamble a little. Yeah, little. it's a big it gambling is, game. It's a big. It is? Big, uh, People say no, but there is money. There's behind. always a couple of bucks. But, you know, big gambling meaning, you know, somebody will bet two bucks or right, a dollar right, or, right, uh, right. or five dollars. It's um, it makes it more fun. Where would you like to see yourself, Bobby Leeds, in a few, say, five years from now, ten years from now? I want to be a um, I want to be able to headline clubs, uh -huh. and I want to um, just as long as I'm. You really want to headline clubs? Is that important for Bobby Leeds right now to be a, a a big comedian on a on a not a not a sitcom instead or a movie actor? Well, yeah, I mean, if that stuff happens, it happens, and I'll I be see. happy. I mean, I'm not going to go no sitcom no, you know, but. Um, Right now, I just want to be a good comedian. A good comedian. And you, yeah. Skippy, you, 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 what you want to do, <laughs> Skippy? I'm just, I'm here. Just, uh, I'm, I'm only at the comedy <laughs> store right now on Saturday nights. But working in the belly room upstairs, you, you've, that's where Roseanne Barr started. I actually. understand that. Roseanne Barr started Whoopi there. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. This is where I'm at every Saturday night. It's a great room up I, there. I played it. I love it. It's a great little room. I love your show. It's a wonderful little room. And Harvey Fisher. I want to like to hear another song, oh, astrology yeah. song. I'm going to what? be playing in the Dragonfly. I don't oh, know if this right. airs when? at the time. It, it, uh, May 26, 1998. Right. Okay. And uh, that's in LA. In LA, uh, Santa okay. Monica, and Wilcox. Good. Let me hear another s astrology, astrology song, like song. Aquarius. Let's hear Aquarius. Okay. Talk about the Taurus. Talk about the bully boo boo. <laughs> talk about the Taurus. Talk about the bully boo boo. Don't you go get tough with me, cause I'm as stubborn as can be. Kind and quiet, but I can't explode. You better watch out, I don't overload. <laughs> Sniff, snort, stomp, and shake the ground. Corn with horns, I'll come right at you. I won't be playing around. <laughs> I am an Aquarian, I am an Aquarian, I am an Aquarian, I am an Aquarian. I am an Aquarian. At times I need my solitude, but it's mostly just a passing mood. I'm never far from the bazaar, making friends with the fringe, always ready with a helping hand. Cause I am in love with humanity. It's just some people that I cannot stand. Uh, I am an Aquarian. Harvey Fisher, you, <laughs> you've been appearing on uh, several TV shows. You, I mean, yeah. from really good ones. I'm going back da from David Letterman on. Let's talk about the one is you're on now, right now. A uh, daily show? Da on no. Uh, Comedy Central? They use you. Or the Skippy Low show? No, no, no. They use your songs. Yeah, on the daily show. On the daily Which show. is on the Comedy Central. On yeah. the Comedy Central. Comedy Central. And they use Tell me about from that. my video uh, once a month when the sign changes. And you work with a girl? Uh, well, I have girls who dance with me in the video. 
in the video. In the video. Why is that? And uh, well, I just thought it would be like a visual, nice visual when I produced the uh, the video. But didn't you do something for London? That's what I want to yeah, talk about. Yeah. Well, tell me about that. I had an article in the LA Weekly. Right. That, and because LA is the center of the entertainment industry of the world, they read the LA Weekly in London. And right. this Clive James who has That's like uh, it, Johnny Carson, James Jay Leno of uh, London and yes. Australia and New Zealand. He, they called me and they uh, did and a satellite hookup with me to interview me. And, and you uh, were on, you were wonderful. I saw the show. Oh, it's, yeah? it's, That's great. it's a very, very fun show. It's like the uh, David Letterman show of, uh, of BBC. Yeah, and I did my, uh, I did my uh, dramatic 20-second uh, uh, monologue. Yeah, we won't do the 20-second drama log um, uh, okay. thing here. Let's leave that alone. <laughs> can I do a plug? Can I do a plug? Yeah, of course. You can okay. plug anything you want. Um, I'm going to be at the um, Latino Laugh Festival this year, next month, in San Antonio. Yeah, what's that all about, Latino? What's that mean? It, it, Showtime usually does it every year. Right. It's a show, Paul Rodriguez, uh, Carlos Mencia, a yeah. lot of Latin acts are there. And you're, putting, you're gonna be on? They invited me this year. Oh, great. I'm the first Asian American to be at the Latino Laugh Festival. Is it tough to be here, a, here. As a here, comic? Here, here. As a, as a comic, there's, it's getting more doors open now because there are very few Asian comics. Well, now they're clump. Well, they can't do an Asian comedy festival because it'd be just no, me, no, me no, and Margaret I understand Cho. That. But, but there are very few Asian comics, aren't oh, there? Oh, there's about that five, six. That's what I mean. So. You know, I played golf a little a couple weeks ago with two Korean, young Korean. You told me that story gentlemen. back there. Yeah. yeah. No, no. No, okay. no, okay. there's another story. No, I didn't tell all you. Right, right. And they're, they're talking, they're talking, and I, it doesn't sound Korean. And I realize they're talking Spanish. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're talking Spanish. They're, they're Koreans from Argentina, Argentina, I believe it was. Right. Uh -huh. I said, wow, you must uh, have a lot of fun with that when you're around uh, Spanish speaking people who wouldn't think you speak Spanish. How many languages do you speak? I speak um, English. <laughs> One. Boy, you are really, you're really California. <laughs> San Diego, yeah. right? Yeah, I just, um, I'm just born and bred here. I've had all kinds of friends, so I, I've um, been to Korea, like, once. Um, your material. Yes. Get your ideas now. Where do you get your ideas? Well, I try to be, uh, I try to um, talk about, you know, I want to confront racial issues, and right. I want to confront um, um, things that I've experienced living in this country. You do as skits? Do you do skits? Um, do I do, I've, I've been in sketch comedy groups, but uh, not that currently. That would be wonderful. Yeah, be great. Yeah. Sketch gonna, yeah, doing that. Saturday Night Live. S like a Saturday You'd night? be wonderful in Saturday Night Live. Oh, see? thank you, Skippy. Yeah, thank because you. you need to get, uh, that's what you got to go. You got, you know, as a stand-up comedian alone, Bobby Lee, right. it's difficult. It's extremely difficult. I mean, difficult. it's not, it's not, it's difficult, <laughs> unless you are going to, but to be in a, in a Saturday Night Live or something like that, Easy. Then you can become a big star. You know, I'm going to have to I come see, see you now after all this build he's up. Very, oh, he's very funny. Great. He's real funny. Great. I like to hear a song of uh, Harvey Fisher's favorite, of one of your songs. No more fats and no more fries, just wholesome food and exercise. No more junk and no more sweets, I'm feeling good. Because I watch what I eat. <laughs> I'm going, I've, this is my lose weight song. I've thinned out a lot of crowds with this one. <laughs> no, go ahead. I like it. I'm going to lose weight, going to celebrate, going to get thin into my mind. <laughs> Trim just a little right out of the middle and the rest off my big behind. <laughs> I'm going to be thin with a single chin, going to pat my fat goodbye. <laughs> I'll be so small you won't see me at all. I'll have to be magnified. I'm going to slim in the gym and be lean in the jeans, lose the bulk of my hulk from a blimp to an imp. Just takes discipline. I know I could do it if I lose this fluid in the mounds and the pounds and the gobs and the blobs. You can't be too rich or too thin. You can't be too yang or too yin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my fluffy is puffy and my flabby is shabby, but you wait, you'll see my weight decrease. No diddle daddle gonna win this battle between beauty and the obese. <laughs> Got a great new diet, can't wait to try it this time, I'm gonna follow it. Lose it or bust, I may bite the dust, but I'm not allowed to swallow it. No more fats and no more fries, just wholesome food and exercise. No more junk and no more sweets, I'm feeling good. Cause I watch what I eat, yeah, I'm feeling good. Exactly. Cause I watch what I eat. Harvey watches everything he eats, Harvey, is that right? You're a health bug. 
I'm a uh, macrobiotic a for a lot of years, and That's you know, it. a lot of my friends eat a lot of junk That's and stuff. And if song. I die before them, I'm going to be awfully embarrassed. Did you ever try to give this song to uh, one of the weight people? I uh, mean, this is a fabulous song. Not really in full, uh, not really, uh -huh. but I, I have shown it to people uh -huh. and just kind of, you know, you know, some people can make three, three phone calls and get a deal. Right. Some people make a hundred phone calls and get a phone bill. Bobby Lee's, thank you so much. Thank I'll you, see you Skippy. at the comedy right, store. Thank you very much, Skippy. Let's go off that song. Skippy. I love that song. No more fats and no more fries. Just wholesome food and exercise. No more junk and no more sweets. I'm feeling good. Cause I watch what I eat. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Cause I watch what I eat. Talk about the Taurus, talk about the bully, bull, bull. <laughs> talk about the Taurus, talk about the bull.